Hello and welcome to tutorial 6 in my uh, series of videos for Helium. Uh, in this video we're going to go over the new multi-take feature. Now again I want to stress this is a new experimental feature but it's one I think that uh, a lot of you will um, come to love because uh, how often have we sat there trying to get the perfect take and um, it's a tedious job. Now this takes all the pain out of it. So if you take a little look at what we've got here, I've got this initial loop and I want to record something over the top of it. So the plan here is to record a single note melody over the top of that backing and we could enab enable record and just do a straight recording. We could tap and hold on the record button and we could select the step record which allows us to enter notes on the keyboard and the cursor will automatically advance with each note we press which is great for creating uh, arpeggiated sequences. But what if we wanted to do a, a series of, of, of live takes and then be able to compare them one against the other? Now traditionally we could just keep uh, uh, recording uh, in a loop over and over again, deleting what we've previously done. Uh, but then we've got, if we, we get something that's almost right, uh, by the time we undo that and start a second take we've lost what we did before. So now we've got this multi-take mode and in multi-take mode you see this little uh, window which we can just drag around and position where we want. Now one important thing is when you uh, initially open this dialog it takes a snapshot of the current track and that state and we can always return to that by pressing the auto button. I also want you to pay attention to these uh, set of eight take buttons that appear to the right of the auto button because as I sit and record different takes those disabled buttons will become active as takes are recorded. So let's uh, press play and start recording a few little runs through. Now as you can see we're in record mode and if we look at the, uh, at the takes window you'll notice as we uh, loop around uh, no take was added to that uh, to that that time round, and it won't be this time. But if I start adding notes um, to a, a pass, um, it automatically recognises that and adds that as a new take. And you'll see each time we uh, we we loop, uh, it resets back to where we were when we uh, opened the dialogue. So we can keep making multiple passes and creating multiple takes on the fly. Now at any time we can select one of these take buttons and preview what we've previously recorded. So we can kind of uh, move between different takes and find the one we like the best. And if we don't like any of our takes we can press on the auto button and continue where we left off recording new passes. So you've got to hit the auto button to uh, reset everything back to that default state and uh, allow it to start recording again as you make multiple passes. Now if you don't like anything you've recorded, and you can record up to 8 of these, you just press the delete takes button and everything will be deleted bar the original take uh, when, you, uh, when you started the multi record. So to rewind and go over what we've just said, at the point you actually engage uh, multi take, a snapshot is made of the current track and that is used as the base point for all your recordings. So although I've got nothing recorded here, I could have a few notes on there and that could have been what I'm recording over the top of. So a new take is recorded whenever uh, any notes are pressed during that pass. And you can keep doing that as long as you want. If you hit a wrong note or whatever, you can hit the delete and start again. Now you can record a maximum of eight takes and then preview them once again, one against another uh, to find out which take you prefer. 
If you want to return to recording additional tanks, you've got to hit the auto button again and that resets you back to the starting point to make a, another recording. So once we've recorded a, a series of takes and we've um, previewed them to find out which one we like best, how do we decide on which take to use? Um, I'm going to show you that right now. So I've got a number of takes here. Uh, let's preview them and see which one's the best. Not bad. Let's have a listen to take three. Okay, so let's suppose we like take three. So all we need to do now is press the use take button and that take becomes permanent. Um, and now all of the takes are wiped at this point uh, and we've got this as a starting point for working on more recordings. And you can always undo if you don't like what you've just created. Now there might be times when you're just recording a, a linear passage and want to use the multi-take feature. Um, obviously if we're not looping uh, the auto take thing will not work. And it's very similar really. You um, position the cursor uh, hit the record button and just record a quick series of uh, notes and uh, once they're recorded um, you hit the uh, add take button so it's a manual thing rather than an automatic thing at this point so if we hit the add take button you'll see a take is added to that list now if we press the auto button we'll return to that default state and we can now record a, a second linear passage uh, just the same way we did before. So if I just hit some uh, random notes here just to give you an idea. Um, and again, once you've finished entering a series of notes, you would again stop the transport and hit the uh, add take button. And there you go. You could preview those in place and use the, uh, the um, use take button when you found one that you're happy with. So that's it, short and sweet, the multi-take function which will be coming to uh, version 1.10 very soon. So thanks for watching, don't forget to thumbs up and like this video, I'll see you next time.